Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I want to discuss an exciting update in the world of jailbreaking, as well as Apple's latest beta release being iOS 8.4 Beta 1. All right, and really quick, for those of you interested in my iPhone 6 giveaway, be sure to visit freeappsfast.com, come back here, rate this video up, and leave a relevant comment down below in the comments section containing your referral code, which is the piece that appears in the fourth tab after the link itself. And with that said, that giveaway will actually conclude following the posting of my new MacBook unboxing, so be sure to be on the lookout for that and subscribe if you aren't already. And with that said, let's go ahead and switch on over here to the first piece of exciting news because there are two things that I wanted to discuss in today's video. Yes, Yes, it's definitely an exciting time. So before we begin, I need to provide some background details for those of you who are either new to the jailbreak scene or simply forgot. Now, Pangu not only released a jailbreak for iOS 7.1.2 following the Evasion 7 utility from the Evaders, but they were also the first group to officially jailbreak iOS 8 and release a utility. Now, we'll need to rewind to last June when Pangu made their grand entrance into the world of jailbreaking with the release of their first utility, to jailbreak iOS 7.1.2. So now the team's original Pangu 7.1.2 jailbreak was a smash success in jailbreakers' eyes all over the world, save ones, Stefan Esser, commonly referred to online as Ionic. Now while the hacker previously contributed to the world of jailbreaking and the community in a rather substantive way back in the days of iOS 4, since then Esser has mostly stuck to iOS security research training seminars at least where iOS hacking is concerned. All right, now that we have some additional history and background details out of the way without getting too technical and overly verbose, in the first few iterations of the original Pangu jailbreak, the group made use of a technique Ionic demonstrated that hadn't been used in a previous jailbreak. Assuming that the method was up for grabs, as Ionic neither required non-disclosure agreements for the seminar Pangu members attended nor explicitly stated that said technique was off limits for students of the seminar, Pangu opted to use the exploitation technique. Since then, it's been a bloodbath between Pangu and Esser, with the majority of the anger originating on Esser's end. Pangu not only stopped using what Esser considered to be his intellectual property, but also proposed numerous solutions to rectify their quote mistake, being Pangu's words, including monetary compensation. Avoiding what most would consider to be logical reason though, Esser has never let the feud briefly described go. While there's much more to it than that, and I won't bore you with all the details other than to say this, the dispute has taken up a sizable portion of Pangu's time, efforts, and available energy that would otherwise otherwise be allocated to creating a new post iOS 8.2 jailbreak for 8.3. Thankfully though, Pangu has opted to move past it and hinted in the final sentence of their latest site entry that the group will begin testing their new vulnerabilities on iOS 8.3 by saying the following, quote, almost forgot to mention that we also wasted many hours, the same as Stefan, on writing this blog. Because of this, we even haven't got time to test our exploits on iOS 8.3. So concluding this quick update on how Happy to inform you guys that in addition to Taiji, we now have Pangu on the case of creating the next jailbreak. So we certainly have an exciting time ahead of us, especially with the forthcoming Apple Watch and the possibilities it opens up in the world of jailbreaking. So that's just part one of what I wanted to talk about today. Again, we now have Pangu and Taiji working on the next jailbreak. Let's switch on over to the second part, being iOS 8.4. So again, today fresh on the heels of iOS 8.3's power public release last week, Apple seeded the first beta iteration of iOS 8.4 to register developers for the sole purpose of testing what is now considered to be the next significant iOS 8 update, excluding any potential 8.3.x releases. While the public still eagerly awaits a new iOS 8.3 jailbreak for all iDevices, as I mentioned before, Apple appears to be expediting the speed at which the company releases new iOS updates. Today's latest 
this beta carries a bill number of 12H4074D and is available exclusively for download via Apple's dedicated iOS developer portal. Seeing as this is the first beta of its kind, there's clearly no OTA or over-the-air update option. With Apple having now inadvertently confirmed that iOS 8 will reach as high as 8.4, a question that's likely on a number of jailbreakers' minds, as well as you, my viewers, is whether the jailbreak developers will once again decide to wait for iOS 8.4 before releasing a new jailbreak, or instead hastily finish what they've been working on and release the jailbreak for 8.3. And while we're definitely going to discuss that really quick, first, iOS 8.4. According to the firmware's official changelog, it doesn't appear to offer much in the way of improvements and revisions over its predecessor. By contrast, last week's iOS 8.3 public release implemented new emoji, a fix for the annoying spacebar and safari issue, a revised emoji selection method, wireless CarPlay support, and several other somewhat interesting tidbits. iOS 8.4 appears to be purely focused on offering a revamped music app. Now, although new features will likely be added to iOS 8.4 as new beta iterations succeed today's release as they were in iOS 8.3, the changes thus far are mostly trivial at best and certainly wouldn't justify the loss of one's jailbreak by hypothetically updating to 8.4. Additionally, several bug fixes strictly pertaining to the music app can be found in iOS 8.4, but for those of you who mostly utilize alternative services, for example Spotify, today's update will likely be unappealing as it's without any additional features. Now as far as jailbreaking is concerned, given the fact that Taiji has been diligently working on a new solution to jailbreak iOS 8.3, it's currently unclear whether the group will once again opt to wait for iOS 8.4's release. However, several factors may, like with Apple, expedite the speed at which the next jailbreak is both finalized and released. First and foremost, seeing as iOS 8.3 was just released and 8.4 doesn't offer any drastic or critical changes, the firmware will likely go through a number of beta versions prior to its inevitable public release. In other words, it could be some time before iOS 8.4 is made available to the masses and now would be an ideal time for a another jailbreak utility. Additionally, as I just mentioned before I got into iOS 8.4 beta, Pangu has once again re-entered the jailbreak development arena and is now confirmed to be testing new exploits the team reportedly has saved. At this point, we have both Taiji and Pangu working on a new jailbreak, and hopefully that will result in a quicker product being a new jailbreak for iOS 8.3. Now these remain uncertain times, that's for sure, as the next jailbreak's release is shrouded in a veil of mystery, but they're simultaneously exciting and exhilarating to say the least. I'll certainly keep you guys updated along the way, so don't forget to subscribe if you have yet to. And really quick before we conclude, I just wanted to dispel some rumors pertaining to the next jailbreak. So because Apple patched some vulnerabilities in iOS 8.3, there are some people suggesting that A, the jailbreak will not only be delayed, but that B, Taiji has sold out and effect sold some vulnerabilities to Apple for them to patch. Now, neither are the case. Unfortunately, we just don't know which exploits Taiji had planned to utilize, but what Apple had patched were vulnerabilities that Taiji utilized in the original version of their utility that they simply left unattended in iOS 8.1.3, the firmware that patched Taiji. So it's nothing new. The vulnerabilities were already made known to Apple when Taiji released their first jailbreak way back for 8.1.3. 8.1.x. Again, most of what you see at this point is based purely on rumors and speculation. I will be the one to keep you guys updated fully along the way, and I'll also be hopefully one of, if not the first individuals to release my untethered jailbreak tutorial when the next jailbreak utility is available to the public. It's coming. It's only a matter of time. We have quite a few people working on it as of now with Taiji and Pangu. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release jailbreak update videos like this one, and my eventual tutorials, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.